In this video, we will cover how Alexander began his reign by securing power in Greece and, how, and Macedonia, and how he began his campaign in Persia. When Alexander began his, re his reign, he was in an unstable position. His father Philip had been assassinated, and there were many rivals to the throne. Also, Greece was on the brink of rebellion. Alexander first defeated the rivals to the throne, having many killed out of suspicion and paranoia, along with those who actually opposed him. Having secured his position in Macedonia, he went to Greece. Thebes was destroyed in a terrible sack, and Alexander held a meeting in the League of Corinth. This meeting was very important, in that Alexander was proclaimed by the Greeks as leader of an expedition into Persia. Not only did he now hold power in Macedonia as king, but he was also acknowledged and supported by Greece now. With power secured at home, Alexander was free to invade Persia. It was now that Philip's army would prove its worth. Alexander invaded Asia Minor first by crossing the Hellespont. He began by laying siege to some of the important cities in Asia Minor, and it was also at this time that he supposedly solved the Gordian Knot. The Gordian Knot was famous for being impossible to untie. It was said that whoever untied it would become ruler of all Asia. Alexander could not untie it, it was too difficult for him. But Alexander cheated by drawing his sword and cutting it. This is meant to be an illustration of how Alexander was great at thinking quickly. However, I personally think it's not a very good illustration of this. Anyway, I spent way too long on the Gordian Knot. Ha after having supposedly untied the Gordian Knot and having sieged some cities, a massive Persian army under Darius III had assembled and met Alexander in battle outside the city of Issus. In this battle, Alexander was heavily outnumbered by the Persians, but still won due to the superior skill of his soldiers and clever tactical decisions. Another reason for his victory was that Darius had his best commander executed for saying something against him just before the battle, meaning that the Persian army lost to their best commander just when they needed him most. Alexander had defeated the Persians once, and now the way was open for him to push further into Persia. This has been our second video on Alexander's conquests. There will be more videos coming very soon. For now, Walete et Ave SPQR!